Over the past several decades, the power-grabbing right has built a powerful infrastructure, radio and TV stations and networks. They've built think, ta think tanks, colleges, and law schools, and funded political groups that prepped all the way for the Supreme Court in Citizens United to grant corporations the right to provide any amount of financial backing to a candidate or a cause, just like any other average citizen. And all of it carried with an air of holier-than-thou sanctity. No less apparent than Pat Robertson when he told me my arms were too short to box with God. And now, as frightening as it is, where do we find that holier-than-thou sanctity most apparent in politics today? Among the seven candidates attempting to prove in every debate that we have seen that they are the right kind of Christian to be the Republican candidate for the presidency of the United States. In light of the circumstances we liberals and progressives have succumbed to, it is hard to remember that we, not the right, we are the spiritual heirs to those Americans who struggled to end slavery and segregation, to end child labor and win, and win safe conditions and a living wage for workers. And we are the spiritual heirs to those who conceived of and fought for just about every bit of social legislation in the last century, legislation that everyone left and right now take for granted. And that resulted not until not that many years ago in the most flourishing, hopeful, and empowered middle class in the history of nations. Big change since then. And, and yet, despite being the spiritual heirs to all of that, it is the right that presumes ownership of everything that pertains to God and to the flag. Look into the future. I will rely on People for the American Way and its sons and daughters in Young People for and the young elected officials you saw earlier to continue to fight that, for that wall of separation between government and religion. I will rely on them to ensure that equal protection of the law covers all Americans, no matter their race, religion, or sexual orientation. And I will rely on them to claim their share of God and the flag by acknowledging that the God for all believers on the right is the same God for all believers on the left as well. And, and that no one side can lay sole claim to the family values, patriotism, and all the other good stuff that stems from that source. 